here I've been helping people overcome one of the most underestimated yet dangerous conditions of our times for more than 10 years now. Today we talk about what scientists are starting to consider a miracle when it comes to lowering creatinine levels in people that are over 50 years old. So either if you have already been battling CRF for a long time or if you only just know that you may have problems, in this video you will find information that can help you. Scientific research just made huge step forward in the care of age-related conditions. While they used to say that once you are over 50 years old, lowering creatinine levels is impossible, today I will show you that lowering creatinine levels has never been so easy. And there are five good habits that are a must if you are over 50 and you want your GFR to improve. Don't miss our number one in particular because that was used to get nine people, all of them in stage five, out of RRT. So what crucial piece of information have we discovered about aging? As we age, we gain wisdom and experience, but our bodies, on the other hand, start showing less pleasant signs of the passing of time. GFR, our most beloved indicator, is an important example. Not everyone knows that even in people that are perfectly fine otherwise, GFR is supposed to decline with age. So while a GFR of, let's say, 70 points may be a sign of concern for someone in their 20s, it is perfectly fine for someone in their 60s. But it still means that their precious filters are not working as well as they used to. And this decline usually starts after 50. This is obviously an even worse issue for those with confirmed CRF. But it isn't all bad news. Scientific research is making major strides in taking care of age-related conditions. Five ways to protect and improve your GFR that can make all the difference when you are over 50 have been recently discovered. We are going to see now how to take advantage of these innovations to lower your creatinine levels fast. Once you hit your 50s, your chances of heart problems go up. Now you may ask, but Catherine, we are here because we want to improve our GFR, our kidney function. What does the cardiovascular system have to do with that? You see, today, it's scientifically proven that the main cause of GFR decline with age is what researchers define as reduced cardiac output and systemic hypertension. What this means is that if you want to lower your creatinine levels when you are over 50, you want to take better care of your cardiovascular system. And I'm not just talking about hypertension, even if that's an important factor. What you actually want is to improve the ability of your cardiovascular system of transporting oxygen and nourishment in all the parts of the body. How can we do that? It's easier than you think. Focus on dietary nitrates. Dietary nitrates are incredibly important for us because they are a precursor to nitric oxide. Nitric oxide has led a revolution in physiology research during the last two decades. This molecule plays a key role in many functions in the body. It regulates vasodilation, oxygen flow, and mitochondrial respiration in all the organs in the body. Nitric oxide acts as a vasodilator, opening and unblocking your arteries and lowering pressure at the same time. Studies reveal that production of nitric oxide is reduced with aging, and this circumstance may be relevant to a number of conditions, including CRF. It has been observed that the overall production of nitric oxide is decreased in people with CRF in particular. Now the interesting part, the solution to this issue may be as easy as increasing our intake of dietary nitrates. The foods highest in nitrate include beetroots and leafy greens such as kale, arugula, chard, and spinach. And this key molecule may also be supplemented. One of the most effective supplements is called L-arginine. 
in the body, L-arginine changes into nitric oxide. Recent research suggests that L-arginine may lower pressure significantly, improve cholesterol, and improve overall arterial conditions. Recent research also linked arginine supplementation to improved GFR. This is really amazing and confirms what researchers believed about the benefits of this supplement. Arginine was tested ranging from 1 to 24 grams a day and a good starting point is 1 gram twice daily. L-arginine may work better when combined with B6 and B12. These two essential nutrients are usually recommended to all those with CRF, by the way. And there is a good reason for that. Seriously, if you're not taking B6 and B12, watch my video up here now. Time now to see some easy tips to really take matters into your own hands when it comes to lowering creatinine after 50. Cut sodium. When you get older, sodium may become the worst enemy of your body. Since sodium can drive pressure readings up, cutting down on table salt may help. But also remember that the biggest sources of sodium are pre-made and packaged foods, not table salt. Bread and rolls can also have a lot of salt. And also, always stay hydrated. Unless you have a water allowance, drinking more is a way to protect not just your filtering organs but your whole body. Decreased body water content is the most common factor that increases serum sodium and that happens with aging. This is why staying well hydrated may slow down the aging process and prevent or delay chronic issues. Water is also the only way the body has to get rid of excess sugar. Never underestimate how good for you is one extra glass of water. And also, be active. After you turn 50, you start to lose muscle at a faster rate. Your physical strength can get weaker too. The best way to stop this slide is to exercise regularly. Not only will you build more lean muscle mass, but you'll also get a number of impressive benefits. Exercise helps with controlling pressure, sugar levels, cholesterol, and more. Aim for at least 30 minutes of activity most days. Even short walks count. And also, keep the correct weight. Remember that as you age, your body will need less energy. Some people carry on eating the same amount they did when they were younger and that's bad because it may lead to weight gain. Regular exercise can help to prevent weight gain as well as the right eating plan. And also, take care of your bones. One of the most common problems associated with aging is bone brittleness. Now, for those with CRF, this is the way more serious you should done for the general population, which means that the usual advice of getting more calcium is not really that helpful. Thing is, for most people with CRF, the real enemy is excess phosphorus. And I'll talk more in depth about how to solve this in my video up here. But don't go away yet, our number 3 is one of the most important age-related problems we need to solve to make our GFR go up instead of down. Number 3. Sleep more. Sleep plays a way more important role in the prevention of GFR decline than most people realize. Getting even just a couple more hours of sleep per night can afford you years of freedom from CRF. And I'm not exaggerating. It is scientifically proven that sleep deprivation can damage the nephrons inside your filtering organs. A large study was able to prove just that. Quality sleep plays an important role in the function of the body of repairing its tissues. Ideally, one should aim to sleep at least 7 hours a night. As you age, however, you'll tend to get less sleep than younger folks too. And you'll also tend to wake up more frequently and you will not sleep as deeply as you used to. So what to do if you can't find ways to sleep better? Now some people will just tell you to make sleep a priority. Yeah, just sleep more. It's easy. Problem is, that rarely works. Especially when the cause of lack of sleep is age or even worse, a condition that's preventing us from sleeping well, such as nocturia. 
Nocturia is when someone needs to use the bathroom on a regular basis during the night and it's usually caused by CRF itself. Don't worry, we can solve these issues. Fact. The reason why people over 50 tend to sleep less hours is the decreased production of one hormone, melatonin. Good news is, you can easily supplement melatonin and turn your messy 5 hours of sleep into 8 super energizing hours of sleep. Truth is, melatonin is my go-to coupled with chamomile when it comes to solving a lack of sleep problem. It really works! And those over 50 may get even more benefits from supplementing it. And according to a recent study, it may also have protective and repairing effects on the nephrons. Melatonin is sold over the counter. You may be able to find it even in supermarkets. One more thing to address, nocturia. This is the most common cause of lack of sleep in those with CRF. How are you supposed to sleep 7 hours when you need to wake up and go to the bathroom several times per night? Well, I have a couple of tips you may want to try for that. First of all, use compression stockings. Look, the main reason why some people need the bathroom at night is because fluid build up in the legs during the day. This is called edema. And then, when you lay in bed, fluids finally get to the filtration system and the bladder. Compression stockings can prevent just that. And also, for the same reason, try resting with your legs elevated for 30 minutes, 3 or 4 times per day, especially in the evening. If nothing works, talk to your nephrologist. Few people know this, but the timing of beta blockers, for example, can seriously impact your sleep. Okay, our number two is one of the most serious conditions associated with aging. Number two, douse the fires of inflammation. One of the major changes that occur during aging is the dysregulation of the inflammatory response of the body, often leading to a chronic systemic inflammatory state. This is a process called inflammaging, which is usually brought on by excess bad cholesterol and other age-related issues such as high BP and high glucose levels. And while these issues are very common in people with CRF, it doesn't mean we shouldn't take care of them. We really want to quell these inflammatory flames because they often lead to the formation of fatty streaks throughout our arteries. This may eventually lead to plaque buildup very bad for the cardiovascular system. And yes, it is proven that finding ways to curb the inflammation in the body can help lowering creatinine levels. One of the faster ways to fight the inflammation is improving the diet. Eating anti-inflammatory foods such as healthy fats, cruciferous vegetables, and antioxidant-rich fruits can really help but there is one superfood that beats them all when it comes to fighting the inflammation. Turmeric! Curcumin, the active compound in turmeric, is proven to blunt the effects of the inflammatory molecules and enzymes that cause damage in the body. And according to a recent study, consuming 500 mg of curcumin is as effective as taking 50 mg of a common NSAID at reducing inflammation in the body but without any negative impact. As a result, eating turmeric regularly will really help in lowering creatinine levels. What not everyone knows about turmeric is that it doesn't work if you eat it by itself. Curcumin is very poorly absorbed by the body. You need something that enhances the absorption of curcumin. Now, if you want to know more about how to use curcumin to defeat aging, my video up here is for you. But don't go away yet, it's now time to see our number one. This is an especially effective way of lowering your creatine levels fast because it's one of those molecules that's been observed to be less and less present in the body with aging, just like melatonin. But while having too little melatonin means having a worse night of sleep, having less of this crucial molecule may mean occurring in a multitude of serious issues. This is why this molecule was used to get 9 stage 5 people out of RRT.
And it's our number one for today. I'll show you what it is in a moment. Before that, I want to congratulate you. I want to congratulate all of you watching me right now. The fact that you are here means that you have not lost your hope. And this is one of those things that will always give you an edge in life. No matter how old you may be or no matter what conditions you are trying to overcome. Because while it is normal to be scared when facing a serious issue such as CRF, I see too many people being so scared they are not able to take action anymore. But you are here, right? You are taking action. This means that you have the best chances of beating it. You can do this. You can become your better self and beat this condition. I've talked about some of the people that overcame all odds and defeated CRF in my previous videos. I've talked about their stories, about your stories, because when the times are difficult, I always want you to remember one thing. While the road to a better kidney health is a long and strenuous one, there is one thing that's crucial if you want to win. You need to take control. You need to get informed like you are doing and you need to take the right decisions for yourself. People that take an active role in their life decisions always have better overall outcomes. So congratulations for taking that crucial step. And in this spirit, I want to show you something that really can make a difference. I'm talking about our number one for today the new trend that got nine people out of RRT. This is Cocutan. What is Cocutan and why is it so powerful? Cocutan is a new trend that's in every cell of your body. Every living cell, human, animal or plant contains Q10. Its other name is ubiquinone to reflect its ubiquitous distribution. It's essential for energy production. Take the Q10 out of the cell and you have a cell that has as much potential as a V8 engine without spark plugs, a broken engine. And it's crucial to understand that many of the conditions that are often associated with old age are also associated with a lowered production of CoQ10 in the body. This is why several researchers have gone on record citing CoQ10 as a way to prevent CRF from progressing. And CoQ10 is also incredibly powerful against hypertension. Now, this molecule is so powerful in reversing CRF in all the stages, it was actually used in one very unique study. The test subjects of this study were 21 people undergoing RRT. The unique part is the aim of the study, which was getting them out of RRT. And in just a few weeks, nine of them were able to do just that. Now guys, you may be interested in knowing that I've made a full video about CoQ10. It's up here if you want to watch it. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.